At the beginning of the story, we see a horde of vampires attacking a village. A mother hides her children and tells them not to come out. Vampires enter their house and kill the parents. Xiao Xin sees everything while hiding. Suddenly Xiao Xin's eyes open and we see that she has grown up. Xiao Xin starts to leave the class when a student asks her to give some papers to another class. Xiao Xin takes the paper and goes to deliver it in another class. Inside the class she sees Vampire Prince Roy. Roy invites her inside but she runs away out of fear. Roy catches her and throws her on the ground, and prepares to drink her blood. His eyes turn red, which brings back an old memory of Xiao Xin and she nails Roy's face. Blood starts coming out of Roy's face, he takes her in front of the students to take revenge and declares her as his enemy. All the students' eyes fall on Xiao Xin. Roy lets go of her hand and she runs away. Roy explains that the world is now ruled by vampires, that humans are toys to them and that he hate humans, but that was not always the case. When he was young, his blood slave Flea promised him that she would never leave. But one day when he was looking for her, his brother told him that she had left him forever and since then Roy believes that humans are deceitful. After a while some girls are seen beating up Xiaoxin for talking to Roy. Xiaoxin runs away from them but the girl catches her by the hair which makes her fall. Seeing her hair, Roy misses Flay, he wants to help her but stops thinking that she will herself come to apologize to him. Xiaoxin runs away from there saving herself but some boys come in front of her. Xiaoxin runs away from those boys and seeks help from others but no one comes forward to help her. A girl blocks his way with an umbrella. Xiaoxin falls down the stairs, bleeding from her head, she faints. Later, Roy's friend tells him that Xiaoxin fell down the stairs and started bleeding from her head, then Maya took her along with some boys. Roy gets shocked on hearing Maya's name. Maya brings Xiaoxin to an isolated place, handing her over to those three people. All three start coming near Xiaoxin when Roy comes and stops them, they run away from there. Roy scolds Maya for doing all this, Maya says she was doing all this to make him happy. Roy asks her to go away from his sight, she leaves from there. Roy brings Xiaoxin to his palace and asks his servants to take care of her. His brother asks him the reason for bringing the girl home but Roy does not give him any answer. He wonders that he had put those people behind Xiaoxin, then why did he go there to save her? He asks him to stop being childish and take decisions wisely. Roy does not consider it necessary to give any answer to him, he leaves from there. Later he comes to the room to see Xiaoxin but she escapes through the window. She is looking for a way out and some crows are behind her. Her foot slips and she starts falling down when Roy catches her but the tree branch breaks and they both fall down. Roy saves her but gets injured himself. He asks Xiaoxin to run away as in this condition he will not be able to stop himself from drinking her blood. But Xiaoxin doesn't want to keep a favor of a vampire so she asks Roy to drink her blood. Roy finds her behavior strange because earlier she was running to save her life but now offering her blood. Roy comes close to Xiaoxin but does not drink her blood. Xiaoxin asks Roy the reason for this, Roy says that it is more fun to torment her by leaving the vampire's favor on her. Xiaoxin tries to come out of Roy's arms but he does not let him go away. Her brother sees both of them and leaves from there silently. Afterwards, Xiaoxin wants to go back home. But Roy stops her, then he explains that this forest is an elusive forest, from which no common man can go back alive. Roy holds Xiaoxin's hand and starts taking her across the jungle, but Xiaoxin frees her hand and starts running away. In the forest, she is confused by her brother, who accuses her of being friends with vampires. Xiaoxin suddenly faints and finds herself back in the same room. But this time the windows have been closed. Xiaoxin asks to open the door, Roy hears her and throws her on the sofa. Xiaoxin begs him to let her go home, Roy asks her to become his blood slave, if she refuses, he will make her brother his blood slave. Roy leaves from there. Somewhere else, Xiaoxin's brother Xiaoling comes out to meet her. 
he has a serious heart condition, for which Xiaoxin goes to study at the vampire's school. He is waiting for his sister when a girl comes and tells him that Roy has taken his sister with him. Servant tells Roy that Xiaoxin has not eaten for two days. Roy goes to her. Xiaoxin expresses her desire to go to her home for today. Just then a servant tells that Xiaoxin's brother has come to the palace to meet him. Xiaoxin gets upset hearing this. Roy says why is she getting worried, she wanted to meet her family. Xiaoxin remembers the forest illusion, she doesn't want to go in front of him with Roy. Roy asks her to hide behind a curtain and see everything. Roy invites Xiaoling inside and asks the reason for his coming here. Xiaoling falls to the ground and begs Roy to let his sister go, in return he offers himself. He starts taking heavy breaths and falls unconscious. Xiaoxin comes running to her brother. Roy asks the servant to call the doctor soon. The doctor says that his condition is fine now but he needs to be admitted to the hospital. Roy asks the servant to make arrangements to get him admitted to the hospital immediately. Then Xiaoxin also falls down unconscious. When she regains consciousness, Roy tells her that he has got Xiaoling admitted to the hospital. Roy gives her porridge to eat but Xiaoxin's hands start trembling. Roy takes the porridge in his hand and starts feeding her very lovingly. Later, Xiaoxin visits her brother at the hospital. Xiaoling says that he is fine now but feels sad that his sister is suffering so much for him. Xiaoxin hugs him and says that it is not his fault, whatever happens they will bear it together. Roy sees her from outside, feeling happy seeing Xiaoxin smile. After they both start walking home together, Xiaoxin tells him that she will not run away anymore and she agrees to become his blood slave to save her brother. Roy is happy to hear this. Next day Xiaoxin comes to school. Some girls start fighting with her, she fights back but both of them overpower her. Then Senai comes and stops those girls, the girls run away from there, Xiaoxin asks him the reason for helping her, Senai says he wants to help her, he asks her walk with him. Roy sees them together, he comes there and takes Xiaoxin's hand and takes her home. He throws her on bed and is about to drink her blood when his eyes fall on the wound on Xiaoxin's cheek. Roy asks who did this to her, Xiaoxin says because of him now everyone in school targets her. This doesn't go down well with Roy, who asks Xiaoxin to remove clothes in order to drink her blood. Xiaoxin is undressing and upset, Roy enjoys her trouble. But he stops her in the middle and tells her that from now on she should not be seen with any other boy. Next day when Xiaoxin sees Senai, she tries to avoid him but he stops her by holding her hand. Senai asks if Roy did anything to her, but Xiaoxin doesn't answer him and tells him to stay away. Senai notices the marks on Xiaoxin's neck. Xiaoxin leaves from there in a hurry. Xiaoxin comes to the palace at night. Roy pulls and makes her sit in his arms. Roy tells Xiaoxin that he is her master and will do whatever he wants with her. He brings her out and starts teaching her how to dance. Roy compliments Xiaoxin's dance. She says her parents used to dance like this. Roy informs Xiaoxin about the vampire's ball to be held next week where they both have to dance. Upon hearing the mention of the other vampires, Xiaoxin panics and runs away. She runs to the fountain, where she finds Roy's elder brother, who touches her hair and says she resembles Flay, he pushes her into the fountain. He tells Xiaoxin that Roy likes her because she looks like Flay. He forbids her from getting close to Roy, but Xiaoxin says she doesn't want to get close to a vampire. Then Roy comes and stops his brother, he takes Xiaoxin out of the fountain and takes her with him. Xiaoxin's heart starts getting restless, she does not understand the reason for Roy's kindness. Roy asks her to stay in the room and practice dancing for the upcoming ball. The next day at school a student says that a call has come for her. When Xiaoxin picks up the phone, the doctor informs her that her brother's condition has worsened and asks her to rush to the hospital. Xiaoxin rushes to the hospital but doesn't have permission to leave the school. Xiaoxin explains her problem to them but they refuse to help her. Just then Senai comes there and takes Xiaoxin to a tree. 
He tells her that if she steals Roy's Nobel badge and shows it to them, they will let her out. Xiaoxin wants to ask Roy instead of stealing the badge, she hopes that Roy will definitely help her. Senai says that if Roy refuses to give her the badge then she will not be able to meet her brother. When Xiaoxin comes near the palace, she sees Roy. She thinks of asking him for the badge. Xiaoxin feels as though he will not help her as she is nothing more than a toy. Still she tries to inform Roy about her brother's condition but servant interrupts her by telling that he is getting late for the meeting. Roy leaves from there without listening to her completely. Xiaoxin has no choice but to steal the badge. She goes inside the palace and steals it. On the way she meets Senai who wants to accompany her to the hospital. They both come outside the school, Senai thinks some people are following them. Senai decides to stop those people, he asks Xiaoxin to go to the hospital alone. Xiaoxin rushes to the hospital but her brother is absolutely fine. Xiaoxin hugs her brother, then she realizes that she doesn't have the badge in her pocket. Xiaoxin goes back and starts looking for the badge on the way. He suspects that someone has used her to steal Roy's badge, and suspects Senai. Just then Roy comes there, he asks her the reason for being out of school so late in the night. Xiaoxin tells him that she stole his badge and went to meet her brother but she has lost it. Roy asks who told him to steal his badge. He sends his servant to find the badge and investigate Senai. After this, to punish Xiaoxin, he starts drinking her blood with great pleasure. Xiaoxin begs him to stop but Roy does not relent and continues to gleefully drink her blood. Xiaoxin gets fed up and asks Roy if he is just a blood servant for him whom he will leave once he gets bored. Xiaoxin suddenly faints and Roy hugs her. Xiaoxin regains consciousness after two days and starts searching for Roy in the palace. Then she hears some maids talking. They says that other vampires will make fun of Roy for losing the badge. She also says that without the badge, Roy will not even be able to enter the ball. Xiaoxin realizing that Roy is in trouble because of her, she rushes to the ball to help him. On the way she meets Roy's friend Sin, he understands on seeing her that she is going to the ball to help Roy. Sin asks her to sit in the car with him. Sin tells Xiaoxin that this noble vampire's ball is very important for Roy and it is more important for his blood servant to look good. Roy is stopped from going inside the ball because he doesn't have a badge, the other vampires make fun of Roy. That's when Sin brings Xiaoxin there after getting her decorated. Friends, now we are ending this part here. If you guys are liking this video and you want to see the next part, then definitely tell me by liking or commenting on the video, so that I can make the next part and upload them quickly. Thank you guys for watching the video, I will see you in the next one.